another very cold morning folks I've just defrosted three cars my car the lady next door she's an older lady she was defrosting the car so gave her a hand and also my wife's car over there she's about to go out shortly so three cars have defrosted oh right this morning I heard something about a thing called a dead drop in Dundee it's upside dead up park something to do with spies and microfilms and USBs and cemented secret things in a wall hmm most intriguing won't be much to see but you know it's, a, it's an interesting tale I'll tell you more about it when we get there right here folks here we are then in the dud up area now what we're looking for here is basically just a small a small hole in a wall and I've come all this way just to have a look at this but what it is folks is um, an old spy trick back in the Cold War they used to leave documents and microfilm in certain places around the city and only the other spies knew of the exact location so they would go there and get the, uh, the files so they didn't actually have to meet in person so they could remain clandestine and secret now I don't know why this is happening in Dundee there's a couple of places one is in the Duncan the Jordiston uh, campus somewhere there's one there there's also one here in Dadup, somebody did this as a as a project but I don't think the USB is still here I think it's gone um, it was planted here in 2013 and it was used for a while it contains sort of like artistic files and nothing sinister so we're going to have a look and see if the hole in the wall <laughs> is still here It's here somewhere. Well, folks, I can't seem to find the hole in the wall where it was. It was somewhere round about here anyway. But as I said, it's um, it's gone. It's been taken away. Don't know why, because it was in a... It was quite, quite well stuck in, seemingly. So, no, no sign of it. Only thing that is a bit incongruous is this little round stone there. In the water. It might have been there, you never know, but I don't think so. That's just a bit on the stone, but no. Oh well, I will put a picture of, um, of what it was supposed to look like here. Uh, so there you are, that's what it was like, but unfortunately you can't really see any evidence of it lurking around. Oh well. Right, while well, we're here at Dudup, may as well uh, go for a little stroll around what used to be the tennis courts where Bro and I used to play all the time. Now I've told you this story before, my fantastic left-handed super serve that Bro just couldn't cope with. And there it is, right behind us. Go, 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 you go. Or oh, as Brad would say, hello. Now, 
Now, I'm at the foot of the law. Yes, indeed, the law, not the law hill. I've been corrected to call it the law hill. Thank you very much, Julia McKenzie. So, this sits at the bottom here of the law. The law. I don't actually know what it's supposed to be. Is it some sort of water tower? Or um, something to do with the law, but I can get in. There's a gate here. Appears to be shut. Hmm. Right, okay. Right, we're in, and here it is. See if there's a date stone on it or anything. No, nothing. Oh, here's the main door here. Well, folks, very sad to see the demise of another Spiz sticker that we stick on the side of the car. Fell off again yesterday. So I do apologise to Brian and Cam. They bought them for us and they are expensive. So that's two we've lost. One we lost on the Tay Road Bridge. The other one fell off yesterday. Again, I went over the Tay Bridge, so maybe it's come off again there. I just don't think um, in cold, wet weather, that they stick to the car properly or they, or they come off too easily so i think it's just a summertime thing we'll just have to put them on them but so disappointing because i love having the spiz sticker on the side of the car makes me feel like um well not, not it makes me feel important or anything but you know what i mean it's, it's good to let people see it's good advertising for spiz so i'm actually quite sad so we've still got two left i think maybe or maybe one i've got one i think bro might have one anyway so but yeah sad sad moment when that fell off again most upsetting. Now here we are on top of the law. This is an old volcano. Yes indeed. So we have a trig point up here and it is the best view you're going to get of Dundee. You can see all over so we'll give you a view of that later on. But uh, let's have a look at this trig point up here. Now trig points I've explained these before, so uh, fascinating things. It's an old ordnance survey way of mapping the area and telling how far you are away from things. So that one will point over to a trig point, away over in the hills over there. That one is probably another trig point, way yonder on the hills over that way. And then another one way over in Fife, somewhere where that would be pointing. That could be, well that could be the trig point. Um, that bro and I were at the other day, just over the bridge there, just with the masters. Yeah, that'll be pointing right over, directly over to that one over there. There we go, look. Boing, away over there. And we have the, the master course behind us, the monument for the war dead. Just a brilliant place to come. Now, unfortunately, the law has had its uh, bad moments as well. We've had dead bodies found up here, decapitated carcasses and all sorts. So it is a, a bit nefarious as well. Anyway, give you a quick view. 